Boy, you guys, it's Austin Holloman. As you can see, I'm in Africa, in the motherland of all humanity, in Tanzania. It's rainy season right now, so until the end of May, which is about another four weeks, it's supposed to be drizzling off and on. From what I understand, it's, it's not like it's heavy rain 24 seven, because when I got here, it wasn't raining. It just started raining, but now it's stopping already. It's kind of like Medellin. If you ever been to Medellin, Colombia, it'll be sunny all day, and then 15 minutes later, get cloudy, cloudy, and then it'll just be pouring raining, and then it'll stop after 30 minutes, and then it'll do it again later on at night. But three, four, five times a day, it does it down there. So hopefully that's what it's like here, because I could deal with that. But if it was raining just hard, you know, all day like a damn rainforest, uh, that would kind of kill the trip. But we're gonna check in. You know, we're gonna get our bags. Get the phone service on, check into the Airbnb. I only have like 11 days or something like that in my Airbnb. And then we're gonna head to Zanzibar, which is the island next to that. And then we're gonna go to Madagascar. We're gonna tour the whole Africa. I can tell you right now, I feel a hell of a lot better because there's nowhere near as much smog. And I know I'm still at the airport, but in Bangkok, the smog is so bad, it's in the airport. <laughs> like it has to be, like the area feels fresher here. So yeah, let's get going. Now remember, uh, the good thing about being here is they speak English, everybody, because this was an English colony, but uh, everybody also speaks Swahili as well. All right, you guys, so I got the most expensive phone plan they had, which was about $65, which is a, uh, 130,000 of their currency shingles I believe it is so now I'm gonna pull out a few hundred thousand shingles and we'll see what we can get you know how much food costs so that way you guys can get a perspective of how much it costs to be here all right you guys so I just got in a taxi I gotta learn my lesson about taxis the uber was only like 12 or 13 dollars but the taxi charged me 40 but I should have that, that's on me we are here and we are heading it's about 30 minutes away from the airport now guys I want to tell you how I felt what you're looking at right now when I was on the way over here to my apartment I was like whoa like this is a huge culture shock like they have shops and stuff just like they do in Thailand where you can go and buy a bag but the way how it looks, I was like, damn, I would not dare go over there without a local. I need to go with a local. I can't go by myself like I would in Thailand. And I'm used to areas being a little bit, you know, on the less safer side. Uh, for example, I was in Brazil. I wouldn't walk around a favela that I don't know or I'm not with somebody alone. But if I got somebody with me, I'll go. And I've been in Asia for about four months now. And it kind of spoiled me to, hey, I can walk around Vietnam, majority of the Philippines, all of Thailand pretty much, uh, pretty much most of Cambodia at nighttime by myself and not have to worry about getting robbed or snatched up. You know, correct me if I'm wrong, but I know, you know, walk around at nighttime was not an issue, but here, uh, you might want to second think that. So, you know, but yeah, y'all keep watching. All right, you guys. So I've officially checked into the Airbnb I started handling myself I'm about to take a shower, but no matter what it looks like outside, this Airbnb is one of the best Airbnbs I've stayed in, no matter what it looks like outside. Uh, it's about 15 minutes away from the main tour zone, which is probably where I should have stayed at. Uh, I can still, I still have time to change if I want to, uh, but it's about 15 minutes away from there, which is like Masticot Oyster Bar, that area. I think it's called Masticot, and yeah, we're going to go check that out here in a minute. I asked some women that I met was this area dangerous and they don't live in this area but i asked them hey i'm staying on this side of town is this area dangerous and they were all like no it just looks like that outside but you don't have anything to worry about you don't have anybody trying to break in or nothing like that i mean of course same rules applies just as, as if you were in brazil somewhere as long as you're not walking around looking like a walking lick you won't have an issue and i'm black 
and I do not blend in here uh, because majority of the black people here are a little darker than me and they can tell they 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 look at me we were rolling with the windows down there looking at me like oh like you know he's definitely not from around here but you can see they they did a good job furnishing this apartment so uh yeah i'm gonna take a shower we're gonna get ready we're gonna get some water from across the street and i'm gonna introduce myself to the locals because there's some dudes hanging outside and they were staring at me so when you're in an area like this i believe it's best to go ahead and introduce yourself to the locals because you don't i'm a youtuber i don't want to be filming and somebody come up to me you know later on today or tomorrow like what the fuck are you doing with your camera you know you don't want those issues so you want to go ahead and let the people know that see you like hey you know i'm not from here you know let me know what i shouldn't do what i can do you know etc etc um yeah to put in youtube yeah 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 i want to show people what everybody what it looks like yeah what is the name again Katikiro. Say it again? Katikiro, Katikiro. Ah, nice to meet you. Yeah. And you work right here? Yeah, my, my shop. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, I just wanted to introduce myself to make sure that everything is cool because I'll be coming in and out at night. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is, this a, uh, is this a dangerous area? Yeah. It is? Yeah. Oh, okay, well, if I'll just you, stay right here then. Yeah. yeah. If you can need any assistance, I'm here. Okay, yeah. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Amen. Okay. Alright. Hold on one second. Here. Here. Hello. So I just asked the guy right here, he said it is. I was like, this is dangerous here. He was like, yeah. Uh, but he said, just stay in this area. Hold on. Hello. Hey, mama. Uh, hey, how are you? Good, are you? That's fine. Do you mind? I do uh, YouTube. Do you mind if I record? Oh, this is YouTube. Yeah, do you mind? Oh, okay, okay. Is it okay if I record? Uh, or no? Okay. No. All right, you guys, so I've, this is another country, which is not unusual uh, in world countries where you go and you use Uber and the Uber and the Apple Maps and the Google Maps are all completely different from each other. So I was trying to go to a Mexican restaurant. The Uber was wrong and the uh, GPS, the Apple Maps was wrong. So I was gonna find anything to eat right here. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna keep walking right here. And if I don't like, I'm gonna come back to this. Uh, whatever this is right here. Let me let y'all see. Hello. All right, you guys, so I ended up at this uh, Crafty D's Brewing Company because like I said, I couldn't find a regular restaurant. That I really wanted some Mexican food. I couldn't find it. So this is what it looks like on the inside here. You have plenty of Caucasian tourists here, but I, I know there's a spot where there's a lot more tourists. It's not here. It's, it's not here, so uh, we're gonna keep walking around. I have a person that wants to meet with me and uh, try to see if she can come here and show me around me. Uh, One thing I noticed about being out here is I realized uh, the programming that you have naturally just from being a U.S. citizen with black on black. When you look at groups of black people or black people in mass numbers, we automatically think uh, danger or bad. And I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I've been walking through these areas that if I was in the United States and it was this many of us in one group, I'd be like, hell no, I'm not even going to go over there because... You know they're gonna probably try to check me you know it's gonna be you know it's gonna be some sort of some sort of problem 
And I walked down the street and I was like, you know what, let me just test it out. Cause I done been in the favela in, Bra in Brazil. This can't be no worse than that. So I just looked at everybody and they looked at me, nodded their heads. They gave me a thumbs up, smiled, hey bro, how you doing? And these are groups, groups of black people in an African nation that the media propagates to be these poor, dangerous places. I'm not saying there's no crime that goes on here, but I can say I feel a lot more welcome here than I would in the neighborhood back in the United States. So, if you enjoyed that vlog, give it a like, share it with somebody that's interested in coming to Africa and they want to see the propaganda get exposed. Subscribe if you have not already. Hit the cash app, it's dollar sign Austin Holloman, PayPal Austin Holloman at Gmail. If you would like to donate, I appreciate it. I'll let you guys see some more of the city and tomorrow we will get yeah, we'll do a full day here in Dai Salaam, uh, Tanzania. And I'm getting a lot of love out here, so I'm gonna have a friend in the video tomorrow for sure.